Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. It's 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius, and it's around quarter to 11 in the morning in Providence, Rhode Island. Today I'm going to walk through Brown University's campus, one of the Ivy League schools, and it's the seventh oldest institution of higher education in the United States. Right now walking over the Park Row Bridge, I'm going to also walk through the College Hill area. Look at this, there's some geese here with some goslings. This uh, waterway pretty much separates the Brown University side of Providence, Rhode Island from the downtown area. I just walked over from the train station This is Park Row and Canal Street. This is a nice little park, Roger Williams National Memorial, National Park Service. This is my first time on the Brown University campus. and also this area, for that matter. There's a lot of stuff flying through the air today. High tree pollen count. Tons and tons of leaves and stuff flying through the air. Oh, look at that. There's the Providence Fire Department. This is uh, North Main Street. The prophet of religious freedom. All right, thank you. Wonder what this building is on the top of the hill here. So there's South Court Street and North Main Streets. Looks like a really clean and, um, and well-designed area. So actually, where I'm walking up to, I'm looking on Google Maps. This is actually a museum now, but it's a historic government building, the old state house. Now I show the current state house in another video I did of walking downtown Providence, Rhode Island. But this is what the old one used to look like. And even the time is correct on it. So if that is um, up to date, then you know this building still maintained. Wow. I can see why Brown University erected their university on this land because it's up on the hill here. 
<laughs> but Brown University was founded in 1764 as the college in the English colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. So how about that for a mouthful? You can see there the old architecture of the old state house building. But Brown University is older than the United States. So how about that? Soon we'll be walking down there after I head up into the um, College Hill like dining area. My gosh, it is so hilly here. If you live here, you don't need to uh, get a gym. You just walk up and down these hills all the time. Over there is a sign that says Cecieta Jones, the great, greatest singer of her race, 1868 <coughs> to 1933. We are still climbing. So actually, if we go this way, there's a park called Prospect Terrace on this side. We'll go and explore Prospect Terrace. And I'll also show you how steep that hill is. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So over here, there's a nice little park with a uh, city and sunset views. Gosh, this is going to be incredible. How do we get up there? There's a lot of history in Providence. I guess we can't go up there unless we go around. Pretty unfortunate. Well, maybe we can. This is just for the vehicles. We'll just go under. Is there a way to go up there from here? Yeah, if you go like to the left side of this wall. Okay. Um, it, it goes straight up to the top part. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Wow, this is crazy.
Wow, there's some great views of the city from here. Unbelievable. Wow, you can even see the Rhode Island State House from here. It's hidden behind the trees and the leaves, but we'll probably see it better once we go up to the top. Okay, there's a pathway. Nice swing. This is one of the best views of uh, the city that you can get. All right, so. Wow. This is really nice. Unbelievably nice. Okay, here's the swing set. All right, wow. Can't get better views of downtown Providence than from here. Up on uh, Prospect Terrace, this is called. And there's the state capitol. Oh look, <laughs> all the different landmarks available from this bulletin. All right, so now that we saw this park and amazing life-size statue, larger than life-size statue of this gentleman here, Let's go out that way towards the main uh, dining and shopping area of Providence. Interesting how I'm coughing from all this pollen, but I'm not sneezing. So once we reach the end of the street here, we'll be in a part of Brown University.
Got to be careful of all these tree roots. Some gorgeous looking buildings here. Grand 8 Cushing Street. What about this one over here? This one's 10 Cushing Street. Some really, really nice architecture in the College Hill section of Providence. I'm actually liking this area a lot more than the downtown. And this is only going to be part of the campus that I'm covering. Looks like we're finally going downhill now. Built for Sarah E. Blake, 1897 to 8. Here's a Segway scooter. Dollar to start, 29 cents a minute afterwards. So it looks like we've hit the dead end here. But we're still able to uh, make a right onto Brown Street and then into the campus itself. No way, I think we can still go straight. It looks like there's a gate there. Now uh, we can go through. Good that Brown University has a shuttle bus that takes you to places. Pembroke Campus, evening group.
All right, so now we're entering <clears throat> Brown University campus grounds. Smith Buonanno Hall, built in 1907. Wow, this is <clears throat> some campus, or at least part of it. Definitely very impressed with the way this campus looks. Beautiful flowers. And I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's gorgeous. Champlain Hall to the left and Morris Hall to the right. And soon we'll be approaching Tayer Street, which is their main street for all the dining and entertainment. ACs are working hard today. Greetings from Rhode Island. All right, so this is the little um, <clears throat> college dining area. Blue State Coffee. Over there you've got insomnia kit, uh, cookies. They're open till 3 a.m. Supercut Salon, CVS, Sneaker Junkies, seems to be more lively over here than it is in downtown. <laughs> Urban Outfitters. Oh, they even serve shawarma here. And this is uh, 288 Tayer Street, Bagels. Okay, and then you just do, I'm just gonna have to U.S. Hemp Authority certified. The Shaking Crab, which is a chain restaurant. Sushi Express. There's a lot going on in this college town. 
Chinatown on there. It's also halal. Philly cheesesteak at Baja's Tex-Mex. Tropical Cafe Smoothie. And barbecue chicken on the lower level. Looks like we're in the middle of graduation season. 70% off graduation must-haves. Looks like it's pretty quiet on this block, as well as the next one. Be good food with roots. That's kind of cute. Andreas Cafe. They got a menu outside. Prices seem to be pretty reasonable for what you get. New York sirloin for 25 bucks. Kind connection upstairs. Kebab and curry. This looks like a movie theater. Antonio's Pizza by the Slice. I think uh, I've seen this place before on One Bite Pizza Reviews. He did go to this place. Oh, there's Shake Shack across the street. The Brown University Bookstore. And custom diploma frames. That's what they're selling now for all the graduates. We got some more places here. Chase. We've got uh, Bajas Takira here. Earlier up in Taylor Street was a uh, Bajas Tex Mex. Here's the City Smoke Shop. Ben and Jerry's, along with VV Bubble Tea, in the same building. Lower left on the left. A college town isn't complete without a bubble tea place. That's what I've seen. Starbucks coffee. Got Metro Mart convenience store and deli and sandwiches. Also a ramen spot across the street. And on the corner, we got Pokeworks. And Waterman Streets. I think after Waterman Street, we'll hit the um, main campus green of Brown University. We're definitely going to have to look at that.
camera, right? Brown University shuttle also stops over here. Looks like this is a research building. Over to my left here looks like another area of the campus. So this is it, main campus green of Brown University. To the men of Brown who in the World War gave their lives that freedom may endure. Let's see uh, what this campus has to offer. Now this is something else. Wow. Unbelievable. Lincoln Field Building. That says Marcus Aurelius Antonius, Antonis. That's who the statue is of. This building here looks like a church. Another crazy looking building. All right, over here is the main campus green past the church. Reminds me a lot of uh, Harvard University up in Cambridge, Massachusetts, near Boston.
This is really some campus. This is my favorite building from Brown. So there's another section of the campus called the Quiet Green over here. Let's check that out. in memory of General Nathaniel Green, who commanded the 1st Brigade of Rhode Islanders to join the Continental Army in the Siege of Boston. Wow. And this is the quiet green. Wow, look at that clock tower there. That's a gorgeous. Also this building. University Hall, this is what this building is called. There's one more part of the campus I want to cover, and that's the Rinston Quadrangle before I end this video. But it's been a pretty remarkable sighting so far of Brown University's campus, as well as the College Hill neighborhood of Providence. Even though I don't know much about the university at all, it's still very impressive to look at this campus in person. All right, the Rinston Quadrangle is across the street and over to my left. Thomas Whittaker House. 
built 1821 to 1824. Let's see if we're able to enter this quadrangle anytime soon. Actually, we can if we go this way through the Wayland Arch. Well, there's the Alumni Center. The Rinston Quadrangle. It's this gorgeous looking Wayland House. Oh wow, here's the campus map. It's a huge campus. Wow, there's even parts of Brown University in downtown on the other side of the river. Incredible. Right now all these trees are in bloom. Alright, gonna make a right over here to the main quadrangle area and I'll end the video. All right, everyone, I think this will be the end of my video. If you enjoyed this tour of College Hill as well as Brown University, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.